I want to take a second and do a quick video, and this is going to be on the Evo Oil, which is made by Fortin. Now this here, if you notice on the boxes, they have some new illustrations on them. Right there, you can see it says compatible with utilizing aftermarket remote kits, and it also has lock, lock, lock. What that means is that you can actually utilize this not just as a standalone CAN bus digital bypass or a bypass module, but you can also use this as your actual remote start nowadays. Evos have evolved into something completely new and different. So what it is, is I had a guy sent me this. He, he was just a guy who found me online. I think it was actually through YouTube. And he said, hey, you know, um, I bought the system. I didn't buy it from you. However, I wanted to have this program for my vehicle. He wasn't aware that you had to buy the programmer, what it was, and he didn't want to you know, get involved in buying a programmer just for using it one time. He, so he asked me if I would help him out. And I says, actually, I'll do it and I'll do it for free. Not to say that everybody's watching this video, if you're looking for a freebie, it's just that I'm the guy to call. I'm just trying to give you some background and, and education on what's going on. So that way for your own ap application, you're doing this, this is how you do it. So for this Evo, he wants to actually program it for his 07 Tahoe. So over here, this here is my desktop over here on the floor. This is the Evo CAN bus module that he sent to me. But more importantly, this is the Flashlink. This is the Flashlink 2 model. And all it is is it just plugs in USB serial port into the hub of the uh, Flashlink updater with a four pin data to data plug, which goes into all the Fortin bypasses. And then you just go onto your PC and then you download all the firmware and all the settings that's gonna be unique to your own installation and your preferences for your settings. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so you know where we're at. This here is my, my screen for my computer at my office, my desk. Now up here, this here is, is the, the link for the Flashlink software so that way you can manage it and do your firmware updates etc and so on I already have this one plugged in quick note because this is something that you won't read on the box if you go ahead and you buy your flash link install the software and attempt to use it for the first time you most likely will encounter the same problem that I did just for your reference this is what the box of the flash link looks like we sell these on our sites and I think I will throw up a link so that way you can go ahead to our site if you want to own these for your own usage because if you're going to do this more than once, or if you do this professionally, or if you're something you're gonna be getting into, you really need to have a flashlight. I would not have said that last year, but this year, totally different story. If you're doing a lot of vehicle integration, you want some quick T-harness or simple installation applications, you must have a flashlight. So once you open this up, and if you don't see flashlight manager and you don't see a picture of the bypass like it shows right here, that means that your flashlight is not operating properly. When you plug it in, you're gonna get the red power light but if you don't see the yellow, that's that's just basically giving you the error that I was struggling with. I called for it and then I got the answer. The way you do it is you plug the Evo into the flash link and then have all those plugged in and just plug in the USB very last, then open up the software and then that will fix it. Don't ask me why, but that's what happens. So in order to get it on there and start flashing it and everything's plugged in and operational, like I explained, all the lights are on, the, the yellow and the red anyway, the blue does not matter. You go on to choose the vehicle. So for instance, instance, this fellow here, he already told me what he wants. Chevy. Tahoe. 2007. Now, you got the Evo always telling me the service number, the date, the hardware version, firmware, recommended version, RS-232 protocol, which is Fortin. Vehicle, there you go. Here's your notes. You could pop in the brand of the remote starter system that you're using. So if it's a Prestige, a ProStar, Clifford, CompuStar, AutoMate, whatever the story is, you would plug it in right there. Remote starter model you can even put in right over here. And then down here, install documentation. You can choose which ones you want, wiring discovery. You can put in your information. And these are just survey questions, so you don't have to do that, but it's it's helpful for the next guy, and I would recommend, at least at this point, to do that, because it helps the next guy, because that next guy could be you. Your Evo updates, so if you want to do the uh, test beta versions, or you want to do the recommended update, you got that right there. See, it says firmware ready. Flash that sucker, it's updating. 
And down here, you can see that green bar is starting to fill up. These take significantly longer than an iData link if that's what you're used to using, or a flash link for that matter. When I just cut the camera off and I came back on, I want, I'm sure you noticed that that blue circle was, was spinning and it was just kind of like going on forever. So I cut the camera off just to speed things up and I was trying to figure out why it was and it wouldn't stop. The only way that I found that you could actually disconnect and break the link between the Evo update and the flashing you know, screen saying that it was completed was to actually unplug it, unplug, unplug the Evo from the flash link and plugging it back in. Once I've done that, it added this tab, which is the options. Okay, so in here you can customize all your settings on how you want the starter to work. I'm sure you can sit there and you can read what these all say. I'm not going to go through them one by one for, for speed amount of time for the video, but this is how you would adjust to all this stuff. So if you don't want the door locks to be controlled with the Evo, you can turn it on, turn it off. Um, key bypass, of course you would want that on, but this is how you would toggle all the settings. Okay, but I'm just gonna turn that one right there on to show you. Save my options. It gave you a, a message up top saying the options were saved. Now you can disconnect your Evo, go to your vehicle and install it. But before you do so, Go to this tab for installation guides, print out the one that's going to apply to you, take it out to your vehicle and get to work. So that's pretty much how these new Evos work when you do using them as an all-in-one remote start and com combo bypass. That's how it's done.